<laughs> Why? Why the planetarium? I visited St. Francisco, the Exploratorium, I think about 25 years ago. And immediately I fell in love with practical aspect of science and engineering. And at the top end, we went to the planetarium. Then I came to, back to UK and I look at the Greenwich Planetarium and the London Planetarium. And I said, wow, I'm going to build one. <laughs> And that has been with me ever since. And as soon as I had the opportunity, I decided to build one. This is the landlord. When I told him I want to do something, he said, well, his father, who owned this property, the father was actually a passionate astronomer. <laughs> so he said, my father would have loved you to do it, so go ahead. He's <laughs> giving me a piece of... He didn't tell me where, but I told him it's going to be somewhere near there. <laughs> Basically, I was lucky enough to get Joan and David Wenridge to donate the projector. I have raised my own money from my pension with my wife to just design it and build it. And we are still struggling. We need funding. <laughs> and if we get more funding, we'll finish it with air condition. We need money for the air condition. We need money for the seats inside. And then we can open up for public viewing. And what is I think, especially kids, especially adults, adults and then kids, the kids get excited because when they get inside and you put it on, they just say, wow, <laughs> that is the universe. They don't even know it's coming through a projector. They think it's real. <laughs> you know, and it's exciting because it gets them to have questions to ask, questions to go and answer, light here distances, galaxy, just the size of the universe is just impossible for them to imagine. And they still go home, spending the whole week trying to understand light here. When we say some galaxies are one point something billion light years away, it's just, and this is the excitement I want. Because that one, adult, children, everybody, they can go home, and it would be nice to have a family going home with something to go and build, cardboard, something to build a solar system and imagine the distances and measure it. You know, it's just the number of zeros for a light year, it's imaginable. They will have a project forever. They will never finish and it's exciting. And that will bring them into physics. That will bring them into chemistry of matter, you know. And I think it's just exciting. Yes. This can take you anywhere. It can bring mythology to you, Greek mythology, ancient mythology, the Babylonians, the Egyptian empire, everything is there. You know, it, it will cause very interesting debate. I want to start a debate in Ghana after the election, when people talk about nothing but astronomy, the stars. Oh, did you go to the planetarium? Did you see the star? That's what I want to do. Get sponsorship to get it a truck, a car, a bus, to carry the portable planetarium so that we can go around schools and people can see something. We can't have everybody coming from everywhere in Ghana coming to see the planetarium, but with the portable, we can take the planetarium to them. Money, we need money, we need funding, we need volunteers. You know, we really want people who are excited by astronomy, people who are excited with practical interaction, interactive hands-on science. If they volunteer to come and they can come with their friends and they can bring something so that when they go by, they leave the things behind with their name on. <laughs> then we can say, when David was here, he brought this, he used it for teaching and he left it behind for us. That would be exciting. In a small way, everybody can help. We need money, we need volunteers. Mm -hmm.